what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vikings i don't know why 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 is that happening right now <laughs> why is it happening right now that's what i want to know my green screen is not doing well right now i think i have let me fix that really quick here it looks weird out there you know, like right there. Uh, that's too much. I don't know why I'm fixing this right now, but yeah, I was gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> I don't know. I need some more lighting in the room. But anyways, let's let let's do this, man. Like, that's not that big a deal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here. Right back with some more Vikings. Today we're going to be doing 13. Well, oh, no, 14. Yeah, 14 and 15. Anyways. Ragnar is about to step into the lion's den. And him and his son. How is this going to go down? The reunion of him and King Egbert. Who knows <laughs> what's going to happen, but I know it's not going to be a showdown because he, all of them went there. He basically killed his men in their sleep, and I don't necessarily agreed with that, but I get what he's what he was trying to do. Also, on the other hand, we have Bjorn trying to get to the Mediterranean Sea, had to get to Paris with you know Rolo. Rolo decided to go with them because. He feels like he's still a Viking somehow, <laughs> you know. Um, I know Bjorn wasn't going to kill him, you know what I'm saying, but he did kind of punish him a bit, D like drown him for a little bit. Hey, let me just drown you for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's dip you underwater for a very long time. If you survive, you survive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess you could say maybe he was trying to kind of baptize him back into, you know, the original faith, <laughs> you know, <coughs> the original faith. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens, man. I'm looking forward to see uh, my girl Judith again. Um, and of course, the attack on Kattegat. I want to see what's that going to turn out to be with Lagatha. Um, what is she planning to do? Why did she attack, attack Kattegat? Because she wants her home back. Um, of course, I understand that. But what is Bjorn going to think of this um, when he gets back? Or even Ragnar, what is he going to think of this? Um, I don't think they're going to have a big problem with it. Um, Aslog seems like she's about to present the, the crown or whatever. Um, to her because maybe she feels like or maybe she's foreseen something who knows but anyways guys i will see you on the other hand see you guys for the review all right so originally in my intro i know i said <laughs> 14 and 15 but i ended up watching 16 too because i really wanted to know what's going to be the aftermath of uh, how they choose to go about it after Ragnar's death. I don't know what's going on with this widow speak right here, but I really need to get a haircut. Maybe this week I have. I really have time to do it. So, um, crazy times, crazy times. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes on to this man, um, you know, it. it, it first, let's talk about. The main thing, the thing that really got me in these three episodes was the death of Ragnar. So Ragnar is officially dead. And it's not something I wanted to see, but I'm okay with it because of how he went out. He didn't go out like Varys in Game of Thrones where his, you know, his death made no sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It, you know... It, you know, a character, I know Varys wasn't, I, I'm not going to, I'm not comparing, you know, what, the type of character or whatever the situation, like, I'm not comparing it in that sense. I'm just saying, like, characters that you've known since a show starts to when they die, 
you know what I'm saying, and they were regulars in a series, they should get special treatment when it comes on to how they die. And it's not necessarily mean like he's got to be humane or anything like that, because nothing about his death was humane. Like, you know, you know, that's not a natural death. You know what I'm saying? Like he was killed. So my opinion on it is 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 basically that I'm OK with it. I'm OK how they put him to rest. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys obviously know that the last time when when I thought he was dead, I was also very sad and I teared up and it was a trick. But this time I feel like it's for real. It, it, it I, you guys know that he's my favorite character in the show. So to see him go, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, it wasn't a boo-hoo frightening moment. You knew it was coming. They set it up awesome. It was kind of like he had a funeral, but not really a funeral. You know what I'm saying? So in in a way you know what i mean king Egbert was there to be the only f friend you know what i'm saying so that was cool so uh, king Egbert is still off the the uh <laughs> he's still off the idea that ragnar was actually telling the truth you know what i'm saying um so now all five is five sons right or is it it's five sons. Yeah, two. You got Bjorn, Yitzvrik, whatever his name is. You got Ube, you got Ivar, you have the other one. Right? So it's five sons that he's had. He lost a daughter. You know? Um, so I didn't like how Lagatha. I mean, now she's asking the question. I didn't like how she she killed Aslog. Aslog did give her some mouth, but uh, to be honest, there was no need for her to kill her. In some ways, yes. In some way, in most ways, no. She didn't need to kill Aslog. Aslog is not a threat. Is not a threat. You get what I'm trying to say? Like she's just she's not. I mean, that's just my opinion. She doesn't comes off as a threat. Like, what is she going to do? Go. Nobody's going. You get what I'm saying? Did she did she bewitch Ragnar? No, not really. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I think Ragnar I, I just I don't think she bewitched Ragnar. That I'm I'm not of that belief. They just you know, I just feel like things were fated to be that way. You know what I'm saying? Things were fated to be that way for for, for them, between them. Um, Ragnar was trying to make it work, but it couldn't work. She left, you know what I'm saying? Which was the best thing for her to do. I didn't know that she was actually still thinking about coming back to take over Kattegat. You know what I'm saying? I was all for it because I was like, okay, she could take, take the village. It's her right. She has some good points, but I do believe that killing Aslog was unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing that, you created enemies that you didn't need to have. You get what I'm saying? Because the boys, they could have had a choice. There was no reason for them to take. There wouldn't have been a reason for them to be so hell-bent now on killing you. Because it's just because you chose to do that to kill um, Aslog. Why you now have these unnecessary enemies that you've created for yourself now. Because I think, I think they would have been upset that she's not queen anymore but at the same time once Bjorn got back home he would have been like hey this is my mom this is my mom so you don't get to kill my mom but if one of Ragnar's son is supposed to kill her that's going to create another conflict now between them between the brothers because Bjorn is not going to want them to kill Lagatha if they kill her before he gets back home now what is he going to do? Is he going to move forward or is he going to be like, yo, y'all niggas, y'all fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all done messed up killing my moms. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. The dynamic between the family right now is not so great. It's not so great. Ragnar has really left the storm behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, 
the the prophecies are all coming true and i see them i see them you know what i'm saying coming true man you know eighth wolf will always be a fuck boy he, he, he's just he's just that dude you know what i'm saying like I don't have no respect for him because he acts like he acts like an idiot. He gets no respect. I mean, how why are you still married to this woman? He can't he can't come out of the man. He can't be like, "Yo, dad, let me get out of this marriage, bro." I know you guys are smashing. You know what I'm saying? But he's like he's in a position where he, dude, I'd rather leave. <laughs> I'd rather leave, bruh. I'd rather not be a prince, man. I'd rather not be a prince to be sitting there, you know what I'm saying, watching my wife buy paper or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not like he never loved Judith. He actually loved her, even though it was an arranged marriage. He actually loved Judith. So for all that transpired. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I understand Judy's perspective also because she just wanted to be free and King Egbert gave her that. So she's forever kind of loyal to him. So in in, in that respect. So I, I'm, I'm, it's just so, there are so many things in these three episodes to talk about. And obviously I can't talk about it all, you know, but I'm going to try my best. You know, because as I'm trying to remember all the things that took place, the important stuff. Rolo, I think the situation with Rolo is the, the when I saw it happening, I think I don't think they're writing that situation very well. And I'm going to tell you guys why I think that maybe you guys know something I don't know about that's going to happen. But at the present moment, it just doesn't seem like. It just kind of seems like an aspo um, because of how everybody's also so cozy with him all of a sudden. It happened too quick. You get what I'm saying? I mean, yes, they tried to drown him in episode, what was it, episode 13? They tried to drown him and he, he you know, he woke back up, whatever. But now everybody seems to be cool with him. Like everybody thinks he's one of us again. This dude killed your people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it wasn't even for like to say, okay, it was for a bigger plan. It wasn't. It's not, you know, Ragnar had his own agenda now finding out that he actually just, he just came over because to die. He wanted someone to kill him or whatever the situation is. You know, that's what he wanted. He chose that. So he killed his man because... You know what I'm saying? Um, that was the plan all along for him to go there to die. You know what I'm saying? So, all in all, it's not the same situation. With Rolo, I think... I just really think that they could have done that integration a lot better. Let there still be some sort of animosity towards him. He seems like he's a Viking again. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? So, it just... It came together too fast. I think that I think they they, they they could have done way better with riding him back into being a Viking. It just seems too quick. It seems like everybody is too cozy with him too quick. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was just the one line that um, that Bjorn said to him about um, have you forgotten? You know what I'm saying? Or have you forgotten about the gods? You know what I'm saying? Like that was the only thing. You know what I'm saying? That was the only thing that happened during these three episodes that I would, I just feel like it was too much. Um, don't know what's going on with Floki and why, because he's like, where's the gods? Because, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, when he went to the first chapel with the priests and stuff, like, you know, they had the cross with, you know, Jesus on the cross and whatever. So they kind of understand that they are worshiping something. I know, you, you know what I'm saying? For Muslims, they don't have idols and stuff like that. It's not like Buddhism and, you, you know, all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a part of um, Christianity that I completely disagree with. This The whole thing with, um, you know, Jesus on the cross, you bow in front of it. They got statues of Mary and all these other saints and stuff like that. Like, 
it's idolatry, but I, I don't know why they think it's not. It's weird to me. And I know there may be people watching this right now, you know what I mean? Maybe you have Catholic background or whatever the situation is. But that's part of um, Catholicism that I never agreed with because the Bible, Old Testament specifically says, do not do that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Do not build statues and think they're God. You know what I'm saying? Don't bow before them. Don't do nothing. You get what I'm saying? Just know that. You know what I'm saying? Just know that God exists. And, and, and that's all you need to know. You don't need to see a pic. You don't need to see a picture. You don't you understand? And that's the reason why Muslims get so upset when, you know, when people draw, more, you know, Allah, you know, they get really upset about, you know, you know, drawing pictures of Muhammad or cartoons or whatever. They get super mad about it. So, you know, um, so I do understand. I don't, I don't understand the passion, the, the passion behind why Floki said what he said. I don't understand it. That kind of caught me off guard because I would never expect Floki to respect anybody else's God, period. <laughs> so respecting them in that manner, I don't know if he's trying to turn a new page because, you know, of what, you know, maybe he kind of felt like something, he felt like something was missing. And I think that's because Ragnar died. That's why he says that he feels like an empty vessel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that part of him is missing, but he don't know what it is yet. You get what I'm saying? Um, so eventually they'll find out. I'm pretty sure that Bjorn is going to tell them, hey, you know, Ragnar is dead or whatever. And they have to return because they got to go take care of business. Like they need to go to England today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But of course they got to raise the army, blah, 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 go over there and take care of business because they fear them. You know what I'm saying? These guys are like machines. They don't stop coming when they coming at you. You know, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, man, um, Lagatha has kind of become some sort of villain in the show where, you know what I'm saying? Is she going to ask for forgiveness? What is what is going to happen? I don't know who's going to take her out, but Ivar promised her that he would kill that he would kill her. So I don't know what's going to happen. But anyways, man, you guys take care of yourself. As always, man, leave some comments in the comment section, man. My, my comment section for my Viking videos is dry. Like, I'm talking about dry, like, one, maybe two people might leave a comment, like, it's crazy, but, you know, shout out to Alexander over on, um, over on BitChute, man, he always makes sure that he leave comments over there, of course, man, so I always gotta, you know, because he always leaves his thought, because, you know, he, he, he he just, he doesn't watch my stuff on YouTube, so, <laughs> you know, so he doesn't, um, leave comments over here, but, but in any case, man, thanks a lot, Alexander. I appreciate it, bro. Um, so, a lot of things going to happen this week. I'm going to try to put out, I'm going to try to finish up the season by the end of this week for Viking. Finish up this fourth season, man. And then we can jump into season five, I think, or whatever. So, so yeah, leave a comment, leave a like. Now we'll catch up with you guys later, man. Tear it out. Peace.